amount of money that's going into GME training right now is getting a lot of attention. Society, the U.S. government, usually in the form of Medicare and Medicaid, are paying quite a bit for the training of our residents and fellows. In fact, if you look at the national price tag, it's about $15 billion. The state of Michigan in particular, our legislature wants to know what are we doing to train doctors for the care of Michiganders. And the Institute of Medicine last year came out with a report challenging us all to do better in GME. And one of their challenges in the report was to actually say, unless you're able to demonstrate a closer linkage, between our GME investments and the care that patients are receiving, um, that funding model should change. So right now, institutions like ours have a real need to show the value, to show the benefit of residency and fellowship education. What efforts are we taking here at the University of Michigan to try and implement improvements? One of the foundations challenging us all to do better in GME has chosen us to, to be one of the regional centers to hold some pretty critical conversations next May on what are the kinds of innovations that we need to be doing in GME. We can be a leader in terms of generating the evidence that people can say, this is worth investing in. We're one of the very few institutions that have actually designated an innovations unit, which is actually charged with designing the experiments by which our faculty and our residents are gonna be showing the evidence that their training and their service actually leads to improved care. We're looking at how, for example, we train some of our surgeons and some of our proceduralists. How much learning time do they need to be doing on a patient first, rather starting off with simulation exercises, showing that people are really good and competent at that level so that we can generalize them to patients, increase the quality, decrease the risks, and, and benefit those that we're called on to serve.